Welcome back to part two. Thanks for joining me again. I'm going to turn this one into my main focal piece now. So I'm going to add, just with a brayer, a little bit more paint. I want to enhance that orange. So I'm just brayering on very lightly. I'm going to take it a step darker with the ruby. I'm going a step darker again with the fuchsia. And I'm just going to repeat finally with some black, but I'm making sure I've hardly got anything on. Now I'm going to work on the background a bit more. I've picked out this honeycomb stamp from the Artistic Stamper. It's not mounted so that I can just add it lightly in places that I want a little bit of texture. So I'm now using aquamarine, the last one was uh, leaf green. Now I've picked out red geranium because I've got quite a bit of red in the border section. And this is um, a stamp designed by me, the Stamper Tea Texture Cube. And I'm using one of those just to bring in a bit more around the edge. I'm just going to lighten and define it a bit now with my white pen. I'm going to use this very messy braid off piece to cut some feather shapes. So to make my feathers I'm going to cut three pieces just approximately the same size and then I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make one cut here and then the rest is going to make the feather shape. Now it doesn't matter if they're all not exactly the same. Feathers aren't the same anyway. So I start with that shape. Now feathers generally tend to go a bit fluffy at the bottom. So I'm cutting into this bottom piece here. I've made a circular shape there and here, this is going to be the spiky fluffy bits. Now down the rest of it here, I'm going to cut into it to make almost a circular shape and then just snip down to it so you end up with a straight and a circular bit. I'm going to do that a few times. Now this piece at the bottom here will be too thick so I'm just going to cut that now much thinner. Now we have a bit of a feather shape and I'm going to repeat that and cut two more. This is my braid off and my um, kind of mop up page which gives me two sides. I use both sides of the card that means I can fold it whichever way I like. I quite like the side with the pink because it's got some green on it kind of sits nicely on there but once you've cut it out you then need to just manipulate it a little bit so a bit of good squeeze at the middle and then each of these feathery bits curl them round so with my texture cube I'm just going to add a little bit of stamping and it really helps is to just define the edges with a bit of distress ink or something similar 
um, this bottom bit here where the fluffy feathers are I'm just going to add lots of little white dots and now I'm just adding little bits of doodling for decoration. When I lay my feathers on my background these are looking a little bit pinker than the background so all I'm going to do is bring a little bit of the magenta in and I could do that in various ways. I might just try and scrape a little bit on with a palette knife. Also do it, I've just got a silicone tool here. So to finish off my journal page I'm actually going to stitch these in place. Because I'm working on loose leaf to go in my journal I can stitch straight through. You don't have to, you could just put a bit of glue down the middle. I'm going to put them slightly offset like that. I've got a quote here that I've just typed out. It says flying without feathers is not easy and then I'm going to add a bit of maybe some metallic gold just a little bit around the edge and of course I'm going to put some glitter on my feathers. And finally I'm going to add some stickles to the feathers and um, when it's dry I can then fold the feathers up into shape. There it is. I found a home for it in my journal. Thanks so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.